and she looks at me or like I'll just feel her hand and she'll just be like, so you'll just be smiling you'll be like, good morning, beautiful. Where's my kiss? And you'll just love mm -hmm. every, every <laughs> single morning breath and everything. Mm -hmm. I kiss Carla with her little morning breath. You mean with your morning breath? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I have morning breath. <laughs> And if she coming for the kids, <laughs> it's definitely her. <laughs> yeah, I guess it'd be my morning breath too. But I mean, I just smell yours. I don't really smell mine. What's, What's up, y'all? My name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our genuine reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel and become one of our little freaks, hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, members, this Saturday at 7 p.m., we're gonna be having movie night. Of course, if you all want to join us and hang out with us every month, just hit that join button and become a member of the channel. Babe, who are we reacting to today? All right, y'all, so today we're reacting to The Fab Life with Shannon and Amanda. Highly requested Q&A, newlywed edition. All right. Let's watch. We've had uh, people requesting this video, and we are finally able to get to it. Yes. So uh, let's just, first and foremost, congratulations to Shannon and Amanda for their uh, their marriage. I know. Yeah. Okay. And this is not the only video y'all requested. Y'all requested the marriage video, but y'all, Shannon and Amanda make us cry too much. Yes, We feel like some big softies when we watch them. And it's them. not even about being feeling like a softie. It's just... <laughs> I ain't in the mood to cry. Yes, like, I don't want to cry, but it's like we love them. Yes. They are so sweet, and they just always pull on my heart. And y'all know I usually don't even be crying in videos, but <laughs> okay. Um, folks, get a reaction. Do us a favor, y'all. Hit that like button. Hit the like button. Hit that thumbs up, y'all. Go Let's for this go. video. It's 1,000 likes, so please just go ahead and hit the like button right now because it helps us grow. Let's Hi guys! Hi, Hi my loves, my best. They got that just merry glow. Yeah. That honeymoon was good <laughs> glow. Well, the girls are sitting up nicely. These best What's going on? Oh, and we are back with another Q and A, newlyweds edition. A newlyweds edition. So the next question is: Everybody's been asking this. Who proposed to who? <laughs> you know, Christmas was made for the children. <laughs> okay. Christmas, Destiny's Child. Uh -uh. <laughs> Usually, I would skip the uh Chris. Like if we're reacting to people's vlogmas, I'll skip the Christmas intro. But we haven't seen it, and this shit looks pretty dope. Yeah. Look at the sun. She, he looks so happy to be there, man. Yeah. <laughs> Happy holidays from my family to yours. Hi, guys. Hi, my loves, my besties. We are back with another Q&A, Newlyweds Edition. Newlyweds Edition. So y'all have been asking a lot of questions <laughs> since me and Amanda, I was going to say are married, but we've been married, but now it is Once out to the world. Announced it. it, announced yes. it. Now it's out to the world. So, Yay! um... When they say down when they say you may now kiss the bride. Honey. Oh my God. Y'all see that kiss? <laughs> yeah, you guys have a lot of questions. So. I'm, I'm excited to do this. Me too, me too. First of all, I'm excited that the news is out, okay? Because it's been like a little secret secret, like on Hush Hush. But the fact that Amanda? the news is out. Amanda? <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> Not Shannon trying to keep me a secret. Not Shannon trying to keep me a secret. <laughs> Amanda has it every month. 
my god, that's what keep you me through the world. You just trying to keep. I'm trying to keep. So let's cheers, you guys. Let's cheers to love. Let's cheers to unity. Let's cheers to FLG. Let's cheers to you guys continuously push us to be better and greater. And I feel like we are going to. Now I feel like we're going to turn this into a reality show. I love that picture um, back there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's got to be. Sh Damn, I don't forgot who's who. Shannon. Shannon's mom. Shannon and her mom. Yes. Amanda. And I hope that we can set an example where I don't care if it's love, it's just love. If it's with a man on man, a woman on woman, a woman with a man, a dog on dog, it is just a love is love. Love, that's it. Yes. Okay. So let's cheers yes. to you guys. Yes, for let's keeping cheers us to you going. Oh, and I ain't got no drink. I only got All my big us. ass water thing. Love you guys. <laughs> Shout out to Vlogmas. Are you guys ready? Vlo oh, yes! This is for Vlogmas. Oh, I'm like, this is for Vlogmas. Shout out to Vlogmas, you guys. This is our first Vlogmas, and I feel like we did a good job, and I feel like that intro. The intro's good. The intro is yeah. pushing us to, like, mm -hmm. take it up a notch. This is yeah. how I knew my wife is such a fucking Leo. And I'm proud of myself. I um, <laughs> directed the whole thing, and I just feel like, you know, everybody should just call me <laughs> Shania, you know? Yeah. Don't play with well. Don't play with well. Genius. Ew. You say it with your chest. Shang Ye. Period. <laughs> All right. So let's jump into it. Yeah. All right. Let's go. I think the first question that everyone was asking is, how does it feel to be married? Not for you. For both of us. Oh, for both of us. How do you feel? Okay. Um. I love it. To be honest with you, I love it. I love waking up every morning knowing that this is my love of my life and I'm going to be with her for the rest of my life. And I feel like once you find that right person, I feel like being married is not really a big deal. It just feels like you're just with this, the, like you're just that dating. Nice. You're just like all over again. I feel like to make it more where it's okay to be married, like I, I want it to be like, what's that word, babe? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew. It's okay. I, I feel I, like I get it. I feel like they get it too. Yeah, I just want I just want it to be more like it's like, oh you're married. Like I feel like back in the day that it was that was the thing. Like everyone got married and then now this this day and age is like everyone is so scared and so like how does it feel to be married and oh, is, is it a sponsor is it a big responsibility it feels exactly the same you just yeah, i actually think it was a bigger deal back then when you got married just even think about you know back in the days when the men and women they didn't have sex or whatever yeah. like you know you had to wait to get married to do that yeah but now it's like shit we fucking and sucking and looking and all that before we even get married so oh. And then we get married and do the same. Do you, do you think anything changed when we got married as far as, you know, love making wise? No. No, it just we just rolled on over to the next next day. Yeah. Um, but I do think that since Carla and I've been married, um, she did start taking care of me more. Um, and I and also the way that I thought about Carla, it did change. That's like I start thinking about like life and death and um just d her being taken care of you know no matter what just stuff like that that i don't typically think of when i'm like when i would date a girl like just be in a relationship now that you got married it actually feels good because it's like we're stuck for life we got to get through this you have a partner that you live in out with like it's just a there's another thing too like you know when you in a relationship and y'all get into a fight the person could easily be like, fuck you, or break up. I don't wanna break up, it's over. But I mean, of course that's when you're immature. Yeah. <laughs> but when you're in a marriage, it's different. Like then you start actually trying to work through things when yeah. stuff come up. You start trying to communicate. Other than that, before then, you could just be like, I don't need you. Yeah, and compromise. There's plenty of fishes in the sea. Yeah. Compromise all that. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course you could say, oh, I want a divorce, but you're not going to say that as quick as you could say, I want to break up. Yeah. You're going to actually sure. try to work on things, and including yourself. It's a beautiful thing. So I'm, married life is amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. So for me, how married life is for me, I think it's amazing. Um, 
So Shannon says it's like the same thing as dating, but for me, it's a little more than that. It's just a level up, you know. Uh, it's how do I say this? I've always wanted to be a wife always and um now that i am one it feels really really good and okay i thought you said you typically don't be liking lashes so you you like her lashes yes Amanda's hers, lashes. yes her lashes they don't look like you know like the big lashes like think about the like lashes. a big broom yes they don't look like that they look they look, even though they look full. It looks like she maybe have her own natural full set of lashes. Not her own. Like, you can tell that they're in there, but they're not, like, dramatic and overwhelming. Oh, you don't like the dramatic ones. Now, I yeah. do kind of wonder, like, these little, uh, 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 are they supposed to be on her shoulder? I think so. Okay. Yeah, they probably just fall. Some shirts are like that. I don't know why that's bothering me somewhere yeah. in my brain. Is when it, it you? first when it when I first noticed it, yes, but I just I'm yeah. not looking down. Okay, I'm gonna try but to But I do wanna know this. I remember a while back and I can't even remember what month. Um, you all were speculating that they were married, right? Oh, they, but they be then doing everything. um I think it it was almost like Supposedly, they was having a celebration for someone else. I remember a long time ago, uh, people were saying, oh, I think Amanda and Shannon got married. So did they actually get married back then when everybody was saying it? And I feel her like, don't be dimming my light trying to have me up here. I'm married and I want the world to know. She like put me up on the shelf, baby, and let my light shine bright. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, I get to wake up to Every day. What did he say? Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Too much. I'm sorry. Okay. But hello, like it's it's. I wake up. It's right next to me. It's easy. I'm not wait for it. It's just there. Sorry. That's all she care about. That's, that's all she no, care about. No, that's not all I care about. What? That's not all I care about. I love you, but like I feel like that's a plus. Like we live together. We're married. You're my wife. Uh, I can indulge every day if I want to. We get to wake up to it. Go to sleep. Right, Damn. 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 Right. And it's and, and to be honest with you, like it's the best thing that I I, I have ever done. I'm sorry, y'all. We've been drinking already. Yes. Okay. Okay. Me a little bit more than her, so y'all gonna. Have to yeah. Go so she 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 got a head start. Married life is amazing. Amazing. So the next question is. Everybody's been asking this. Who proposed to who? Hold on, if you had to guess, damn, she already pointed. I was gonna guess uh, Amanda proposed to Shannon. I don't know, she just always seemed like the type to um to to just be the one to like, oh, let me lay flowers on, let me lay out a limo so she can, you know, have escort her to the date. Yeah, I can I can see why you say that, but I was hoping Shannon did. Why? Well, just because you know when we have watched their Q and A's before, it's like Shannon's supposed to be daddy. Really? I don't get it from her, Shannon, no more. Now I get daddy, daddy from Amanda. Amanda, yeah, daddy Amanda for me. is more seem like yes. aggressive. At first it was Shannon for me, but nope, daddy is Amanda. But I can, I can actually. I was hoping it was Shannon. So. And we're not saying that in a relationship or the same sex that it's got to be a girl and a boy. Y'all know. Hopefully, y'all can feel what we're saying. Like I'm not saying Amanda is the boy and she's the girl. I'm just yeah. saying I get daddy it's vibes. It's just from. based off of their role. No, yeah. but it's the same way how um Nat Nat always says she Nat daddy. Yeah. Right. So I just remember them doing the Q and A before, and it was like not yeah. like Shannon. And Shannon I remember his daddy. And I remember we guessed. <laughs> we were thinking Shannon was daddy as far as in our heads, but yeah, Amanda's daddy. <laughs> Can I, can I keep it real? Yeah. Can I keep it 100 with the gang, with my besties, with our besties? Mm -hmm. All right. So there was no actual official mm -hmm. proposal. It was more so like a conversation. Like we should just get married. That's pretty and dope. that's what we did. Um, it was like, we know what we want. Exactly. We know we're not going to spend our life with anyone else. Exactly. And it, obviously it was a conversation like, do you, do you see yourself with a woman? Do you see yourself getting married? 
you see Makai with a woman as a part, like, you know, just as an, uh, as an next parent. Mm -hmm. And it was very like, let's just get married. Yeah. Y'all, like, the crazy thing, like for people who are new to us, that same exact thing happened with me and Carla. Like no one proposed. We were just, I think we were talking about future plans. Like, yeah, so then when we do this in like two years, then da da. And then we was like, well, damn, we probably should get engaged first, huh? We probably yeah. should get married. <laughs> because we were just already planning out our life. Yeah. And that's kind of like how the engagement happened. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, that's how it was. So yeah. everybody keeps asking. There it is. It's answered. Yes. I will say this. Yeah. Fingers crossed. We do actually do like a proposal. Maybe in the future. Yes. And I feel like I, I feel like we should. And I feel like, you know, I'm obviously the man. I was just going to ask that. The man. I was just going to ask that. So, okay. Everyone's exactly. asking this too. I told Hold you. Hold on, she said everyone asked him what. So you know how like um, Kourtney Kardashian, she had like, you know, the small one with like 12 people and then she had like the huge destinational wedding. Like, Oh, okay, so she's talking about that, but I don't know, I told man. you, I, his daddy. I don't know why I'm feeling like Amanda's the daddy now. But she not. Well. <laughs> I feel like in a year from now, me and Amanda are gonna do a whole thing with all of our family members because I do have some family members on my back and some friends being like, why wasn't I invited? I'm just like, babe, it was just family. It was literally very 12 small. people, very small. It was like Very secret. intimate. Yeah. And I always have to reference, like, you see Kourtney Kardashian, right? You see they had the small one and then they had the destinational and it was like 200 people. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. And we're going to do it in our hometown, Jamaica. So it's going to be huge and it's going to be amazing. And a Leo. It's going to be very Leo. That means big. <laughs> yes, extra. big. And I feel like when I do that, I am definitely a few months prior. I'm gonna definitely go on my knees and do it officially. Oh, and... Yeah. Oh, I would like that. I, yeah, I already, I already like have a, a yeah. idea saved how I want to do it already. Oh, what is it? Bruh. Oh my god. Ah! You can tell me I can no. keep. I can keep a secret. No. I can act surprised. Look. No. <laughs> Believable? No. You believe? No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But I'm excited. I really like the way we did our wedding, though. I think it was I so did. beautiful. I did. We oh planned it so goodness. fast, and yeah. that's I exactly the what they had on. Um, yeah, yeah, it was just so beautiful. The only moment that um really had me just like ugh, was just my mom's picture frame on the chair i think that was the only moment and i think um, a lot of people ask why did i hold the footage so that's another question we can get to what? a lot of people ask why did i hold the footage or didn't release the pictures for so long oh let's enter that now yeah it was just a lot like I, honestly it was a lot for me it was a lot to I feel like at the time I was not really insecure, but I was very insecure about, I have a lot of family. Mm -hmm. So it's like my family barbecues, everyone coming to my family thing. It's like 200 people, like my family, like my dad, when my dad came from Jamaica to Canada, married my mom, he sponsored everyone mm -hmm. from Jamaica, all of her family to come to Canada. So my mom's family, more of them are in Canada than in Jamaica. Like all of them basically so i have a huge family my dad's family it's all in canada and i just feel like everyone's gonna have an opinion and so at the time i was very insecure about it because i'm like because there's only 12 people all of them are gonna cuss me but none of them knew that you were married either not even married you were like a dating woman yeah, exactly i feel like they knew on instagram but i never approached them because i didn't want to hear it i would hear it from my sister yeah. like, and i would hear it from everyone else to be like Oh, um, Shannon's on Instagram was like, y'all, da, 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 da. And this is before I was married. So I'm like, I, I just want an intimate and full of people that, you know, that, that, that lo really yeah. support and that love because I need that support at that moment. Yeah. <clears throat> That's exactly why, like, <clears throat> when Nick and I, when we decided to get married, we decided to just do a ceremony with just us. 
um, because we didn't want anybody there having negative thoughts or just, you know, all of the thoughts that people have when they don't necessarily agree with your lifestyle, right? So we was just like, we want this to be a moment where we can truly enjoy um, us becoming to coming together as one. Yeah, and then also, um, I wanted to be able to feel comfortable being vulnerable because I had the ugly cry and all <laughs> that type of stuff. But then also, um, um, even if they didn't have thoughts in their head, even if like if the thoughts that I'm kind of battling in my head, not that I feel like what I'm doing is wrong, but just the, the things that I've heard them say mm -hmm. or people say you know what i'm saying how they really feel about it it's like so whether they had the thoughts at the time it still would have been like maybe distracting in my head or if i looked over and saw a little look or something i'm like i just want to completely focus on this moment yeah with the love of my life so yeah. i get it and you know my sister flew in my cousin flew in my niece flew in and it's just like i just needed those people who are really cheering for me and not have anything to say behind closed doors and so that's yeah. why i kept it for so long because it made me insecure i'm like i have to go one i have to go one-on-one -on -one now with every single family member and tell them that i got married that i got this and i'm like i just don't really want to hear that right now i'm like i I'm, get I'm it full of love I, I'm secure. I know myself, mm. but it was it was making me very insecure. The fact that it's like people's opinions, and it's like I do what I want. So mm. it's like I'm not gonna tell you because I'm gonna do what I want. And it's like when I'm ready to tell you, I will. And then it's like, are you coming to the 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 the, the, the destinational wedding or not? Period. Period. We just honestly, we wanted to like seal the deal and call each other um, wives, our wives. Yeah. Um, and just like do something very small and intimate just to, yeah. just to begin with yeah and um what we did i loved it mm -hmm. every moment of it was so Me beautiful Me too. Uh, i think i like when they had a moments when they be talking and then they be looking at each other in their eyes it's like they be looking at each other's soul yeah all the time and i feel like it's such an accomplishment yeah. just to find true love mm -hmm. and then have something so beautiful and See? precious like okay even how she said, okay, she said she daddy. I mean, I know that don't mean she got to dress a certain way, but look, even daddy even ain't even got on the, uh, I mean, on the, the thing. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, what the brand but look how daddy grabbing her to kiss her. She, she just stopped this and, she, mind fuck. and she stuck her tongue all the way down her all right, throat. Well, I don't need all them details <laughs> now. Well, you seen it. But that's why I said, I don't know. Okay. Such an accomplishment <laughs> just to find true love mm -hmm. and then have something so beautiful and precious but so intimate. I mean, she might, nah, Shannon might be dead in the bedroom. Now, I'm not denying that at all. At all. Now, and when I think about that, I'll be thinking, okay, Shannon probably be taking over in the bedroom. I mean, she's a Leo for Pete's sake. Uh, I'll be thinking Amanda take over. In what? The bedroom. I, my brain is just confused. <laughs> I, it's just the way she describes Shannon. Remember that time she was talking about when she have on All right, her, no, don't get no, too No, I'm just okay. saying. Remember when she was describing, okay, when she have on her little shorts or whatever, and I, she was just... <laughs> I'd be picturing maybe Shannon takes over in the bedroom, but I, on the outside world, I'd be picturing Amanda's daddy, but okay, I guess it, just, it don't matter. It was perfect. It yeah. was perfect. It was. And I couldn't wait to show you guys. I was so oh, no, excited. She was so, I was so excited. On my birthday post, babe. Please talk about my birthday post. Oh God. Okay, so wait, hold on. Let me before Amanda, let me let me <laughs> let you guys know. Yeah, yeah, the background. So I'm sleeping. I'm like, it's my birthday. I'm sleeping. Was that August? I wake up, you know, everyone grabs their the phone. End of September. I'm like, I'm like oh, in the morning. Oh, okay, cool. When I roll over. Amanda's sitting up like this in the bed on the phone. Like this, looking at her. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> hey, babe. I'm like, um, aren't you sleeping? Hey, babe. Uh, I'm gonna post you for your birthday, um, and it's a video of us. And she's like, okay, okay. I'm like, okay, but wait. Um, there's uh, like maybe one clip from our wedding. And she's like, okay, okay. And I'm like, in my head, I told her it was one clip, but it was really like three. So I was like, um... Maybe you should look at it first, just for approval. Just look at it and see if it's okay. And she looked at it, and she loved it. And I was like, yes, 
because I was going to post it anyways, even if she didn't like it. it I love it. No. But I'm I looking at her it. like Amanda. So is that around the time when people were speculating that yeah. they felt like they were married? Uh-huh. Okay. I t- that was, and that was had to have been around like August, September, August. I don't remember the time frame. I just remember it was a while ago. Yeah. Oh, you could I please tell at least a few family members I first? I wanted to tell the world as soon as it happened. What? You wife me? I'm telling the world. I want to shout it out at the top of a mountaintop. I'm married, Mrs. Hamilton, bitches. <laughs> you look like coming to America. You know, when he's on the balcony. Good morning, my neighbors. Fuck you. Yes. Yes. Fuck you too. <laughs> you know what that's what love does to you. Yes. Ow. Okay, let's get into another question. This is fun. Have you learned anything new about each other since getting married? I learned that Amanda has 16 personalities tucked away. <laughs> I feel like you knew that though. No, I knew about the 10. I was I couldn't been hiding a little bit. I knew about the 10, but not the other. Not the other 16. Listen, it takes a strong person to date a Gemini, and she has it. Okay. Do you manage? Do you love me? I manage. Are you going anywhere? <laughs> if uh, literally, I tell Amanda this all the time. If I wasn't your soulmate, you see how everyone, God places people in your life and like places like the perfect person for you. They always think there's a perfect match. Like if I wasn't Amanda's perfect match, I don't think I would be able to deal with it if I wasn't. But because I am, I know how to deal with it, and I love you, oh, Lord. and I love every 16. So maybe the wedding in a year from now, I'm gonna have 16 rings because, <laughs> child, or the, the or the, the 26 rings. 16. I feel like I get it one abs on every day. Can I explain what personality every single personality since you've been so since me and Amanda have been married? There's a per- personality for dark liquor. And it said after 70 or 80 days, you can return it. And bitch, wow, we're way past that. We're way past that. Wow, what you gonna do? Cause you ain't returned me yet. <laughs> There's a personality for light liquor. Or you can get it together. There's a personality for smoking. I'm not gonna stop. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> As a personality for tired, baby, get up. <laughs> Honey, that's that Gemini. Period, point blank. Yeah, her son is Gemini, so she already know. Yes, baby, them personalities will come in a sound. Dang, Gemini's, y'all, that's how y'all live? Go comment below, uh, Gemini. Shit. Dang. I'm learning There's a, a lot. <laughs> I think I think they get the picture. <laughs> I think they get the picture. Listen, listen. She says it's hard dealing with a Gemini. Imagine being a Gemini. Imagine. Okay, it's, it's, it's a lot going on up here, and I have to deal with it mentally. So yeah. listen, the fact that she's able to rock with me, I fuck with it heavy, and I'm obsessed with this woman. I'm never letting her go. Where's she going? Blink if you need help. <laughs> she love it here. Okay, next question. You child, you Gemini's. Do you love it here? I love it here, my okay. love. Love it here. Ooh, you look gorgeous, by the way. Can you guys look at my wife? Both of y'all her look good. Her eyes are so beautiful. Can you, can, can you just, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but Amanda has natural, like, brown eyes, and they're just so beautiful. Like, you look like a goddess right now. Like, you just look Aww. so beautiful. Thank you. Imagine waking up to this every day. But it don't look Shit. it don't look like this. It is a little touch. Yeah, even if you don't have the makeup on and you look rough and you look like Aunt Jemima with all that forehead, you look so amazing. My Listen, love. honestly, the before the cornrows, pipe, everything. The before I would have felt some type of way, but because we way past that, I'm like, yes, you're gonna get cornrows, you're gonna get morning breath. <laughs> Cash wants to say hi, you guys. You're gonna get morning breath and cornrows. <laughs> Biggest fear in your marriage. What's the biggest fear in your marriage? Please don't say nothing. My biggest fear is us not being able to work it out. Because I enjoy you so much. I enjoy our time together. I enjoy our family. I enjoy our empire that we're building. And I just enjoy your love and everything that is you. Yeah. 
I feel that, yeah, I feel like that's the only thing where it's like everyone like wants to be married, but everyone, I feel like everyone is like, you know, like, I don't want to separate from this person and that's like me, you know, but I feel like with Amanda, 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 it, it took patience and still every day we're learning, we're learning yes, each other, we're learning like new things, we're learning fact. better ways to talk to each other, if we're having bickering, if there's a little argument, like every day. It, it takes time to like you know learn that person so it's like especially if you love that person and you learn like you learn them and you have patience i feel like the patience is what i had to learn because as a leo we're very like uh-uh i ain't dealing with this mm -hmm. like uh, a leo i'm out same like, that, like same. that's the first thing so it's like me i had to learn patience because i know she's not aware of certain things of, of, that she yeah. is doing certain things because she has 16 people how the hell are you supposed to be aware of one right. <laughs> I, I, and then also i think like the best advice that, that's coming up in my head right now that i feel like helps me and carla often and we've been together for eight years now not married married four years together uh eight but um is to really work on checking yourself like you, it's gonna be very easy for like you to pick out an un and see and become aware of what your partner is doing. Yeah. But the thing is, let's say for example, if y'all have a big argument or even a little one, once y'all once it's over with, go and check yourself and see. Okay, what could I have done differently, or was where was I wrong, or you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the the more you do that the more you will notice those fights and things begin to decrease and then y'all learn to flow like water. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's start talking about the sex <laughs> I think they, I think they get it. Oh, Lord. How are you are supposed to be aware of one person when you got 17 locked up in that head? In that forehead, too. Wow. Mm. <laughs> there ain't no space. You want to know another thing, though, too? What? I, I've noticed that we've been doing that's been making us stronger. Yeah. Is us being selfless. Uh huh. Um, like, yeah, because yeah, Gemini's are very selfish. We're, I'm, we're, we're selfish. Like, you know how Je people say Gemini's have two personalities? Another trait that is a big trait for us is that we're selfish. We're very generous. We'll get. Very generous. But very with certain generous. things, we're very selfish. Mm -hmm. And I've learned, even both of us, like mm -hmm. we've learned to be selfless. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. if I feel strong about something, yeah. she'll compromise for me and yeah. I'll do the same for her. And yeah. it works so well. And I'm That's so true. grateful. That yeah. we've been I guess I can say that too. Like I'm the most selfless I've ever been in my life when it comes to shit, relationships, friendships, anything. Like I'm thinking about Carla a lot of times before I even think about myself, just trying to come up with the little things, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I guess that's pretty cool too doing that for each other yeah yeah i fall in love with this girl more and more every day i feel that too i feel like we had a little hurdle we did and it was like that selfishness of gemini that was like coming <laughs> at your face <laughs> that, like the selfishness of gemini because for leos i feel like leos were so even if we're mad if a gemini right at that moment goes i need your help just to see that look on her face, I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna be like, I'm mad, but I'm gonna fucking do this for you because you asked me to, even though I'm mad. And Gemini's are very like, if I'm mad, leave me alone, go outside, lock the room door. I don't care. I don't care about you, even if like you needed them at that moment. Like, that's probably a cool little dynamic. It's probably a very common dynamic because I know I'm the type, I guess, that I can relate to the Leo where. I don't hold it a lot. Like if we get into it or something like that, I could be over it in like two to three minutes. Yeah. My wife, she needs a little bit more time. Sometimes actually though, she's getting like faster as yeah. far as getting over it. And, and and how did that happen? Because you check yourself, you, yeah. you go in within yourself. Mm -hmm. It was a time recently we had gotten into it real quick. Something happened where, where we didn't really get into, we did. But I exploded. <laughs> but Carla realized that it wasn't her. It was really me because I was dealing with something. And then later when I went and was taking care of myself, I was checking myself. I was like, you know what, Nick? You didn't have to do that, Nick. <laughs> and then we was able to come together, have a good, quick little conversation. And then it was over. Yeah. Simple. If they're mad, they don't care. So that's the thing, because it's like, if I'm this way, I need you to be this yes, way. Yes, and I have yes, yes. 
She putting them straps on her little shoulders. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> to learn patience and learn that that I had to physically yes. learn that that is their trait, and it's like I need pay, I need to take time with them and teach them. <laughs> Teach me how to love. Show me the way to surrender my heart. Girl, I'm so. Teach me how to love. Come on, vocals. Don't play with her. All right, next question. Yeah. Is the sex better? It probably got a little bit more passionate. Answer that. I feel like yes. Uh, I feel like now that, like, well, before yes. was always uh -huh. that way always good but i just feel like now it's just more like this is my, my wife, wife. Yeah. Like, it, it, there was never so i don't know how high you get ha, 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 ha. listen <laughs> listen there was a little bit of limits when um with certain things i feel like i've been opening up more i was already open with you yeah but, but that's what i'm saying but now, now that it's like okay it's like, I, you're my wife like, do, 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 baby do, do. baby opened up like a flower yeah. <laughs> Look at her face. Look at her face. She loves it. That's another thing that keeps her. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, wait. I have a question. Okay, so bump these questions. Uh -huh. I have a question. Uh -huh. Okay, so in general, uh -huh. I know that you've been with men and women uh -huh. before me. Mm -hmm. Is it better with me just in general, regardless of, men, of all the men and women that you dated? I feel like... A typical, I feel like everyone would answer that and be like, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, just to make the other person feel good in my heart and my soul. Like, I never met a person like you. Like, I never, there has been partners where I will wake up and I will turn over and I'll be like, oh, I'm with this guy again. Or I'm with this girl again, or oh, like really? Yeah, you, you I, never I, had that? I, I, yeah, I, I, I feel I, like a I, lot of people I, have that where they turn I over have. in the morning and be like, and I think when, if you have those moments, more than likely you're not going to commit to that person as far as in a marriage. If you feel like, ugh, with a particular person. Yeah, I definitely <clears> had <throat> one of those. Yeah, and just think what you had been like, oh yeah, I can marry this person. Hell no. Exactly. Fuck no. That's why she's saying that because I've never been with anyone like you. You see what I'm saying? So, so we need to seal the deal tonight. <laughs> be like, oh, like, Five, four, or they'll plan, uh, they'll plan an argument to be like, yo, I, I'm gonna plan this argument. Be like, you know what? I had it. I'm done. Like, the, like literally, I used to do that with certain people. I would like be Damn, waking up being like, like that argument. waking up feeling so empty, and not full. Yeah. No, I, I will say yeah. that you. Every day, Shannon wakes up. She wakes up and she looks at me or like i'll just feel her hand and she'll just be like so you'll just be smiling you'll be like good morning beautiful where's my kiss and you'll just love mm -hmm. every every <laughs> single morning breath and everything that's how another reason <laughs> yeah you ever see movies and the movies where they like flip over and then they start kissing all passionately and they just woke up you were like damn that thing got some morning breath <laughs> oh morning yeah, yeah. I, oh, my I didn't get that today though I have to make it up to you. I kissed Carla with her little morning breath. You mean with your morning breath? Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, I guess I have morning breath. <laughs> I guess. And if she coming for the kids, <laughs> it's definitely her. <laughs> yeah, I guess it'd be my morning breath too. But I mean, I just smell yours. I don't really smell mine. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no, I gotta kiss her me. I got a kiss from you, but a morning, uh, Amanda did jump up this morning and say, Woo, look at that new body. I'm going to the gym. And she got oh, up out of bed. Yeah, so I, I did do that. Yeah, I did do yeah. that. And, the, and the, you see? I did do that. So yeah. I just told my fault. Yeah, it wasn't me. I forgot. Sorry. She jumped out. I was like, You go, girl. You go out the door. You go, girl. Yes. Every morning. Yo, every shout morning. Out. I feel like partners need to do this to their loved one if you're a man if you're a woman you need to make your your partner feel good especially if they are the one you need to get up every morning and be like you look beautiful kiss them like i feel like 
everyone in this generation love and true love is so hard to find everyone is cheating oh everyone God, is yes. to, uh, like, like being like snaky it. everyone is just doing like it's just like if you're talking to a woman they they don't take it serious like it's just like we're missing that foundation of love and mm -hmm. that's where i get it from mama hope shout out to mama hope mama hope hmm. mama hope gave me that love gave me that like unconditional love and it was tough love but what made me learn where she was exactly my mom is exactly like amanda exactly mm -hmm. every everything that amanda does is my mom mm -hmm. okay which is super weird but one thing is i had to teach my mom how to love so I had to teach my mom. My mom didn't want to yeah, share the same spoon with me, same, share the same fork with me. Like she would just be like, like, ew, no. Like, and I had to be like, mom, like, or she will hug me. She'll pat me on the back. And I feel like that's a lot of Jamaican mothers, a lot of Jamaican parents at that. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to show affection. Mm -hmm. So for me saying, mom, I'm your child. I love you. Say it back. And she'd be like, okay, thank Okay. Okay. Bye. Hey, if we have any Jamaicans that's watching this right now, comment below and just uh, elaborate or just speak on what she's talking about. Cause I didn't know that. And I'll be like, no mom, sing it back. Like, and Amanda was very much like that. So it taught me patience during the hard times too, to be like, just have patience, just have, and when it's the right one, you guys, you guys don't have to have patience with everyone. Only when it's the right one person mm, I like only that. when it's worth it Bob Marley says no one is perfect but it's who's worth it so anyone yeah. that is worth it I feel <clears throat> like you should have patience patience is what I learned in this marriage or marriage or dating someone in general is patience that's why yeah, and I also think before she said another way you really know you in a relationship that you really care about is when you start growing when you start doing this shadow work and checking yourself that's when you really uh, start growing too. The thing that I would say that I really appreciate you for, like, especially, like, I can look back, like, when we first started dating, mm -hmm. and, like, sometimes the energy that I would give her, like, specifically speaking about what you just said, how I didn't really show you that much love. Like, you know, I, 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 I fucked with you and I love you, but, and I would do things to show you that I loved you, but it's like the other little things. Yeah. I didn't really give you that, but you didn't reciprocate that energy with me. Like, oh, you gonna act like that? Okay, well, this is how it is. You were like, no, this is how you really show love. And yeah. you opened that yeah. up for me, which is something that I really appreciate. Like, I've never been the type to like, um, just be that vulnerable with somebody, yeah. you know? and. I feel like when you're like that, that is the true like meaning of intimacy and being naked and just soul sharing. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, baby, like, you have so much growth. <laughs> I, I never want to disrespect this woman. I never want I never want her not to feel loved. Yeah. My goal with you is to just make sure that you're happy. Yeah. Don't I always ask you that? I'm yeah. like, are you happy? Are you happy? Are you yeah. happy? Yeah. And what do you always say? Yeah, I always say yeah. She always says yes. I am. But just to hear your words right now and like even like seeing it, your growth is so much. I can see it in you though. I can see your aura. I can see your glow. It's like you're more like, you know, in tune with me and understanding like, and I didn't know how to say it either. So coming into a relationship, a lot of people don't are, are feeling some type of way, but don't know how to approach a situation. So all, all they approach it with is anger. And I feel like uh, just the patience has made us grown into what we are today. And I feel like every day I wake up and I'm like, wow, like, yeah, but that's the selflessness that I'm talking about. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. like she may feel some type of way, like, cause what I said specifically was you may feel some type of way. And if I don't feel like it's a big deal, then I'll like, yeah. I'll sweep it under the rug or I won't, I won't validate how you're feeling. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, you better, like, I wouldn't do that for any and everything. Yeah. Like if I, yeah. if I the felt, right. if I felt it wasn't a big deal, I was, but that's not right. Yeah. I have to, whatever you're feeling, I need mm -hmm. to understand it. Sorry. I love this woman, y'all. Yo, I love this.
this woman, okay? Come on, let's make a baby tonight. Ah. Yeah. Let's sip some more wine. Oh my God, I can't wait for Sky. Oh, how does Shannon's parenting style differ from yours? This is a good question. This is a really okay, good question. Okay, but you gotta answer that. Okay, yeah. Shannon came in to Makai's life with full force parenting skills this girl is like top-notch parent like and me i'm strict but i also um i i dote on makai i let him get away with a lot and shannon came in listen the your parenting style is something that i admire so much because she's very 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 stern but she does it in a loving way like me being Makai's mom, I'm mama bear, I'm overprotective. Like if anybody talks to him in any type of way in front of me, I'm ready to like just cut heads <laughs> off. But Shannon does it to where that I just feel so comfortable when she's, um, I don't wanna say disciplining him, but just having those talks with him. Yeah. Like to make him understand. And the best wow. thing about it is that he respects mm -hmm. it and he receives it and then he, he changes it up. Mm -hmm. and it's yeah. something that I'm so grateful for because this is a unit mm -hmm. like me and Makai really are a package deal with mm -hmm. you and you came in and just like you are the best mother oh no, don't play that song mm -hmm. and it's so hard to find because like Makai is, is is our child but essentially he's he came from me you know what I mean right. there's no blood relation yeah but the way that you love him mm -hmm. is so mind-blowing to me because I've never had that in any partner that came into my life the way that you, like they come they they may you know you know whatever yeah but you love him unconditionally and even when I'm like I, I'll be speaking in general like in the beginning oh yeah my child and she'll she'll cut me off our child our child certain things Shannon will not let ride at all with school with practice with great she won't she's like no hell no we got Tighten it up, tighten it up, tighten it up. Yo, you're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this one is. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Hey, I, you know, I, literally... I was going to say, um, Amanda was probably like kind of more laid back because he was the only child. I think mm. that happens a lot of time. And if I'm not mistaken, Shannon, yeah, she has a sibling. So mm -hmm. she could probably, you know, like be that balance that she needed. Because sometimes, I'm going to let you know now, these kids, when they're the only kids, whew, it can be rough. I remember I had a friend who was the only child. Baby, that thing was a mess. Do you hear me? Because she was the only child. And it, I guess it would be hard to like set certain rules and maybe spoiled or stuff. Yes. And, and you should getting things their way. Yes. So I think kind it's a good sometimes. balance to kind of help when he go out into the world not feeling like shit just supposed to go the way he think it's supposed to go. Yeah. It's like, it's certain rules, it's certain ways that you do things, and it's certain ways you carry yourself to get what you want without pouting about it. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, yeah. I really worship the runner. I love him. Walks on. So when I first met Makai and... Uh, Amanda gave me a backstory of everything that she was going through and just like, you know, just being a single mom and, and doing what she had to do for him and, and and the sacrifice and all the things that she had to do. It just empowered me to be like, I want to be in this child life and love them. And I really look up to Russell and Sierra and the way how Russell treated Sierra's kids. I'm just like, I... I have to treat him exactly like that. And it was all love. I was like, how am I supposed to love this woman but not love her offspring or what she created? That doesn't make no sense. And for anyone that's out there that is dating someone, because she she has told me about people in the past, how they never really, you know, gave, gave their all to Makai. It's like, how are you supposed to love someone unconditionally but don't love their offspring? And it's a part of them. So you have to love them. And that was what my mom installed in me. And I'm so happy that she could speak about me like that because that is my task in life. When I got married to this woman, I said, I'm, I'm getting married to Makai, I'm getting married to Cash, and that's it. And I, I love him. And I'm so grateful that you brought me this amazing gift. 
And I, what's the gift? You and Makai, but especially Makai. He loves me. I'm trying not to cry. He oh loves my me. goodness. And I love him too. Oh. I know, I see it. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I, I love him. I love him very much. If okay. there's anything that, that I want to do for you guys, I'll go to the end of the world for you guys. Oh, like, I know. Makai is my Yay. life. I know. That's my life. That's my only baby. It's my life. And what you've done for us, what you've done for him, I feel like I am forever in your debt because the boy loves you. He does. He sees it. And I, honestly, you guys. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. I'm going to pause it because, y'all, I'm trying not to get emotional. Dang, man. But in they even on, be a um, Q&A. on their intro, I yep. noticed that he was looking at, at her. Amanda. Yep. I mean, at Shannon. At Shannon. See, we yes. mixed up. Yep. I, I saw that. Yeah. And it kind of reminded me, when I saw him do that, it kind of reminded me how usually when you have siblings, like how Bryce look at Mariah uh -huh. sometimes. What do that be? It's almost like a look up to you type yeah. thing. Or they, are, they admire you. They're watching everything that you do. That's why they say you have to be careful what you do in front of young kids because they're so impressionable. Oh, man. Yeah. Shit. We, we friends, right? We besties. I don't know what I did in this lifetime to receive this blessing my baby who is everything to me and you to fit so perfectly with our unit to be everything that I could even pray for and be more I don't know what I did but I put my hands to God I am so grateful I am so grateful and I will love you protect you and honor you forever. Honestly, because you've changed my life. You have. Oh my God. I don't want to get, I don't want to get emotional. Oh my God. Okay, let's stop. Yeah, let's stop. I love you. I love you more and more. I love you so much more. I love you. I love and I'll you. marry you. Uh, first of all, you know how Jackie is on um, LA Housewives, uh, Basketball Wives, how she marries her husband every year. I'll marry Amanda. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. You're working my nerves. I'm so sorry. Y'all, what did you, what do we eat? Salmon. Damn. <clears throat> my bad. Yeah, Nick is over here burping. And I'm trying not to. And, and she makes look, me this want time, to elbow her in her knee. <laughs> look, but when I burped this time, I tried to keep my... Before, I tried not to burp. But when it came up, I was like, oh, shit. And I kept my mouth closed. That motherfucker still came Cause out. Because it came out your motherfucking nose. No. He's coming you out my nose. You still breathing. Okay. Okay. All right. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Every year, child. Like, Mary, every year, I love you. All right, let's move it out. Yes, yeah, move, I don't want to get emotional. Out. I'm not, this is my, my last time getting emotional. Okay? Yes. Do you sometimes feel like you need to spend time alone without your wife? Yes. Me, I don't really care. But as a Gemini, I know she just does. Gemini naturally just wants to be by themselves sometimes. Mm -hmm. That is a fact. Um, and I feel like that was something that we kind of struggled with mm -hmm. uh, for a period of time in our relationship. I'm the type of person, like if I rock with you and I'm in love with you, I will do anything to please you. And Shannon's the type where she wants to spend all, all her time together. And I'm okay with that. I enjoy your, your, um, your energy, I enjoy your company. But personally, and it has nothing to do with you, Personally, I just need time alone. I need time to be in my own head. I need time to think. I need time to um, calculate my steps and just uh, just be by myself. You know what I mean? And um, I I remember that I explained that to you like way in after our relationship. That's what's up. I explained that to you and you didn't understand, but you came around, and that's what I mean by compromise and yeah. uh being selfless she came around and uh it's been amazing yeah she gives me that time 
I get that time and our relationship has been just amazing. But that's with anything. You want to give your partner um, time to miss you. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And not be like smothered or just feel overwhelmed or just like not have time by themselves. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, that, yeah, for me. I was actually going to say, you know, we just spoke on that. Was yeah. it on the podcast? Yeah. Um, we were just talking about, you know, spending, like, if you need time to yourself, you need to make sure you take that time. Uh, and I explain, that's how a lot of people, when they get in a relationship, if they are too up under their significant other and then let something happen, a breakup happen, they feel lost. Like, I need to find myself. I forgot who I am. I need to figure out what I love again. And it's like, you still need to con continue to do whatever you normally do just because you're in, it's fine to, okay, I want to spend time with this person, but you're still yourself. So you still got to pour energy into yourself in order to be full for your significant others yeah. and other people in the world. So if you don't take that time to replenish yourself, how can you give them like what they need? If, if you're drained and you don't and you're not doing that yeah I think that self-love and, and put that time into yourself it also reduces conflict and, and arguments too yeah. yeah me yes for you no yeah yeah you know what it is for Leo especially a Leo dating a female it's always like you're my bestie let's do everything together let's go here let's go there because she's a woman but then in that aspect, I can't be like, like, I have to be like, okay, remember? You guys are married, you guys are lovers. And so I have to be like, okay. All right, so next question is, uh -huh. where'd you guys go for your honeymoon? So we went to Cayman Islands! Which was a whole vibe. So that's what the anniversary was, but yes. we got mar married close to our anniversary. Mm -hmm. So we wanted it to be super <laughs> special. So our honeymoon was actually Cayman Islands. Mm -hmm. So yes. And um, what are your biggest weakness as a couple? That's some interesting couple questions. I don't feel like we have any weaknesses. Uh, no, I don't, I don't really have I'm gonna be honest. Like, like no. I feel like we're very strong. We're very strong. We're very um the strongest. I'm just thinking if somebody asked me you that question, I don't know how we would answer that. I mean, back in the day, I would have said us being big girl, big girls. <laughs> when it comes down to like food yeah. like loving food yeah i guess you're right because yeah. when we together and we eating all like that long term how is that going to affect us yeah. you know what i'm saying it's, it's cool you can get by when you're younger but as y'all get older like thinking when we in our 60s and 70s and that age range that's when shit really gonna show itself that's why yeah. we work so hard on it now y'all see we fall off get back on fall off get back on but it's important because we already know that is our biggest weakness. Yeah. So you focus on your biggest weakness. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, babe. This relationship. I yeah, had. same. Yeah. Very connected. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel very secure in this relationship mm -hmm. as far as um, emotionally, spiritually, sexually, mentally, financially. Physically. Period. 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 Right. Period. Who need a man? Period. Who need a man? Oh, you need a man. You need a man. You need a man. Okay, what do you think? I just want to pause it here for a second. I was going to wait to the end to say this, but Shannon looks amazing. Her wig is given. She, it's like they both look beautiful. So I just wanted to say that. I was going to wait to the end, but I just got to go and say it because I can't hold it in no more. <laughs> I don't even be knowing when they wigs and not. Girl, her hair looks so good. Her lashes, like both of their lashes, they just look good. They do. What do you think is their, your biggest strength as well? Why should just cut me off? No, we, we, like don't <laughs> we don't need a man. We don't need a man. First of all, even if I didn't have Shannon, I wouldn't need a man anyway. Period. And it, that, I feel like that goes the same for her. Cause she came in uh, swinging with like, I got I got big banks, okay? I got feelings for you. Get in my boot. <laughs> right now. Oh my God. Uh, 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 right now. <laughs> okay, what is, Sorry. What do you think is your biggest strength as a couple? 
the way we work together, I think that is the biggest, the whole world could see it. The way we work together is we just work. phenomenal. Like she just gets me and like, she just gets the hustle. She just gets like, and I'm very strict when it comes to work with you. I'm very like, yeah. I'm very like, yeah. But you want to know but what you, you handle it no. because I'm the same way. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't when, like, I'm all fun and games, but when it's time to work and be like, and get that bag, I'm serious about it. But you want to know what you have, you have a vision and you have major leadership skills Go, so girl. and i and i and i trust it okay i trust her vision mm -hmm. i trust her opinions mm -hmm. i trust her suggestions mm -hmm. I, tr I trust her just her mind okay <laughs> so that's what's so great about our dynamic i'm i'm willing to listen i'm mm -hmm. willing to uh let you take the lead yeah. and um just 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 follow your 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 mind. Yeah. Follow your vision. Yeah. You know how hard that is in a relationship. Yeah. Like, can yeah. you really put all your trust in your partner? Yeah. I I put some trust in my previous partners, uh. but I was still like headstrong, in control of everything. I'm not saying that I'm not with you. Yeah. But it feels good to submit and not carry all that pressure because you have so much trust in your partner. You know. Yo, when I tell y'all. What was you gonna say? I'm gonna wait to the end. Oh, okay. you gonna remember it? <laughs> yeah. That this is the best shit I've ever experienced. Shout out to Mama Hope. Thank you, God. Shout out to Mama Hope. Shout out to Mama Hope for blessing me with this woman. Period. I oh love you, God. Mama. I love you. Who, who would have thought that I could, well, we could have found this connection, this love, this union? Uh, this song. Why does this song? You ever see uh, babies where if the if you play a certain song, a baby will start crying? Yeah. It when I hear this feel song, like that. maybe it's connected to that video when she played this song, and it was so sad, it had me crying and all type of stuff. So now it's just I feel some of my body when I hear the song. <laughs> I yeah. I did not. Um, I always knew. I didn't know that I could marry and like feel the way how I feel and growing up in the church with a woman. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Growing up in the church and my grandfather was the head pastor of the church and me going to church all the time. It's like, this is what I want to get straight. There was a, a comment in here that I want I want to get straight, right? You know, I a lot of people, us having a lot of love in our picture when we drop, there's a lot of... There's uh, a lot really, of the, love. The, the, the love but, outweighs the hate, but, but there is a lot of people. Yeah. And I want to get this straight for the people who are watching, right? Because a lot of people brought up the fact of God and me raised in a church. We can go for battle for battle because Leo, I'm not going to back down. So I, I want you guys to hear this. And usually all the people that have comments are usually tuning in all the time to me and Amanda. So I know you're tuning into this right now. So I, wa I, I, I want you to come here. Come close. Come close. Come close. Come close. Come close. Come close. You see. It's about to go down. <laughs> when you over there judging me and Amanda, right? Talking about God and repent and all these things, right? Uh. It says in the Bible that a sin is a sin, right? So you judging me and Amanda is a sin and the sins weigh the same. So me and Amanda being lesbian. You just, I bet you just looking at everything, ain't you? Yeah. Oh, Shannon. She does look really beautiful. I, she looks like a damn doll. <laughs> I was like, my wife ain't even listening up for real for real. She looking at everything. No, I'm listening because, you know, I feel the same way when they come in our comments and saying, y'all need to repent. Yeah, no, I we think, don't get those comments often. Though. Every now and then we do. Yeah. And I'm sitting up here like, okay, but how are you over here watching two lesbians, for one? How you just sit here and watch our content? And then now you want to judge us. Okay, carry on. <laughs> that is a sin, right? The only thing that it says in the Bible is do not take your life. That's the only thing that God will take back, right? But he says that he will take you as you are if you do sin. So even if this is a sin, that's mine. And, and, I, and, that, and I'm going to stick with that. And that's what you... <laughs> My Lord, that I know that loves so much. You guys do not know what I've been through. 
with my God to know that my God loves me so much mm. that he will be so upset, mm. so disappointed for me to mm. love love and love a woman. Mm. So even if I sin, if I go to him and I talk to him, he will still love me, right? Could he love that ugliness in your heart? So you watching over here and you judging us, that is a sin. So it's a sin for a sin. So you think I'm sinning, but you're sinning too because you're judging me. So at the end of the day, it don't win. So might as well just send love. Send love. And, 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 and if and, you don't got nothing to say, don't, don't say it. Don't because you're question. sinning, right? So then we're both going to the same place. So the only place that I'm going and you're not going because I'm not going the place that you're going, sweetie, with the heart that I am living in, okay? I'm going in the place with God. And God loves me. Oh, point. This is a good question. Did Shannon ask for Makai's blessing? I did. Did you? Yeah. Did I know I had, about that? Or? Uh, I think I told you, but it's like it. What happened? I want to know. I just asked. Um, I was like, Makai, do you, are you okay? Um, with me marrying your mom? Are you embarrassed? I always have this day-to-day -day conversation with him. I just had this conversation today because he was like, mom, he calls me mom. He calls you mommy and he calls me mom. He calls me mama. Yeah, mama and he calls me mom. So he was just like, mom, you know, at school, you guys went viral on um, Twitter and all TikTok, these girls, yeah. TikTok, TikTok, and he said TikTok and yeah. Twitter. And he's like, everyone at school knows who I am now because you, I, I was in the picture when you guys were married. And he's like, all these girls are flocking me, saying they want to date me. And he's like, you know, <laughs> so he has these shoes that um, Kiva made for us, one of the FLG, and um, it has her picture on it. So he's like, I don't want to wear it because it's going to bring too much attention. And everyone's just like, oh my God, your parents are da 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 da. And I'm like, you know, so I had to ask him, you know, um, are you embarrassed that your mom is and he's just standing strong like, no, no, I don't care. This is 2022. This is a new generation. And I'm just so thankful because the, the, the family that I have, the outside family that I have, my personal family, her personal family, everyone is just like so loving. And it's Everybody just like, that's support. what I know. I know when raising in the church is all about love. It's all, you know, I think too, a lot of times when you, let's say for example, and this is not going to be the case 100%, but just from my experience, I think when you, um, see a relationship, and you can tell the two people really love each other, no matter the gender, none of that. It's like people respect it. Yeah. Like my family, her family, like your family, especially like your sister and stuff, she freaking loves me. Mm -hmm. And how my mom and grandma and all them love Carla, and they just love this union. You know what I'm saying? They love how we move together. They love it. Yeah. They just respect it and they love us. Mm-hmm. All about come as you are and i just want people to understand that love trumps everything once you have love light love it trumps and everything yeah. babe do not make me get emotional uh, and please I, no i love you i love you and i love your mama i love i'm so sad i never got a chance uh. to meet her but just the love that you give me, I know that it comes from her, from her. And because I get to experience that, I love her. I love her so much. And I love that you love her, I can feel that. Before, Don't make me cry! Before we end this video, the cutest thing ever. Um, and when one day when me and Amanda were first starting dating, this is how I knew that she was my wife. Um, oh my God, I so went it was my mom's anniversary and I went to her grave. We weren't together. I was in I was in California. Yeah, you were yeah. in Canada. And yeah. there was flowers on her grave. And when I went to go and look, Amanda sent them all the way from California to her Aww. grave. And there's thousands and thousands of headstones. So for her to find out all the information to send flowers to her grave on her anniversary was the most beautiful thing ever. And so I married my best friend and that day I knew that she was my wife. And so my mom had this ring and um, all my cousins were asking for this ring. No, I'm going to say it. She's literally 
I'm leaving my hand. Hand. Like, don't say, say, do not say it because you know everyone's gonna come after you. But there's a ring on that day. My mom had this ring and I that was my first ring, so I gave you two rings. I gave you my mother's ring and I said keep it in a safe place. And obviously you could fit her finger because my mom had big y'all. My my mom have one big on. So <laughs> big on. but and I gifted her a ring on that day your from my mom. Ring, it's her it's your mom's ring. And um yeah, so I gave you two rings at that, and I have 16 more to go. <laughs> Jesus, I have to How you mess up such a beautiful moment? It was a beautiful moment. I love you, and FLG, I love you too, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that you guys love, love, and I hope that radiance of love is just fl flowing <laughs> through this video. I hope that you guys can yeah. watch this video and learn to just be you and love yourself and understand that it's okay mm -hmm. to love whoever you love. I don't care who it is. Mm -hmm. And God loves love and I love love and we love love. And I hope that this video gives you love and you guys can just apply it to your life Absolutely. and make the world a better place. Absolutely. I love you guys. Yes. Honestly, Look at that. I feel like I, <laughs> see, I feel like this should be a part two because there's so many other questions that yes. we have not answered. Shanna's gonna take me on date night right now, um, so I can give her some pussy later. So, uh, I don't know. She'll take me out so I can, like, you know, bust it open. And, um, we'll check back in with you guys later. We're gonna come back to the part two. I love you guys. This vlogmas is going you. up, and love you guys. Next episode. Oh. Yeah, thanks, oh, so thinking adorable yes it's like their love energy the energy of love is so thick and you just can feel it and it's just heavy yes Shit. okay so this is what i was going to say and it might be kind of lengthy so bear with me okay so um i was watching this um podcast for anybody that don't mind watching um, Christian podcast, it's a actual, it's a really good podcast. Um, it was Tim Ross, and um, he did an interview. Oh my God, I can't remember the young lady's name. I think it was Lynetta, or it was something. It was with this black woman, and um, she was basically just telling her story, uh, like her life story. The only reason I'm bringing it up is because there were moments in her life where she was really dealing with some some really rough things in her life. And um, she tried going to a church. She had situations multiple times with church people and churches turning her away. And my daughter, my daughter, she's real big into church. And she said... It's stuff like that. She said her, even her sometimes, she'd be like, you know what? Y'all are getting on my nerves. She was talking about church people. Like, y'all are getting on my nerves. Y'all the reason people don't like coming to church. And y'all just need to mind y'all business. And that's how I feel. I feel like people need to mind their business. The other part is, in that same interview, um, it came up about just relationships of course it was about like with a man and a woman but to me i feel like it's in general right and shannon and them they spoke on this they said they don't need a man right they don't need each other the difference is is that they want each other like nick nick don't need me nick wants me which is damn is way better than her needing me and I don't need Nick. I want Nick. And the reason I say that is because, say for instance, if somebody did something fucked up in a relationship, we both know our self-worth to be like, you know what? I ain't got to deal with this bullshit. That's because we don't need each other. I want her. That's why I'm here with her. And so that was really deep to me when they were saying that because they're basically saying, you know, this love that we have, this bond that we have, it's like we want each other. We want this. We want to make it work. So I just thought that was so beautiful. Yeah, and I think that type of love can get you through anything. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was a beautiful. I'm actually glad we did watch it and react to it because usually we don't react this late. It's six sixteen, about time for us to start our night routine. But yeah. something was like, hey, just go and check them out. Yeah. Glad we did. All right, y'all. If y'all enjoyed the reaction, make sure you hit that like button and get us to a thousand likes. And uh, we'll catch y'all next time. Peace. You don't really need a lot of more fish. Cause you know what it is, you know what it should be like. You never need it there, prove it on me by the dish. You live it in your truth, only move when you feel it. That's why I'm tuning into your vibration. Right now, I am tuning in right now.